Now in this lesson we do some work on limits. Examples. The first one, we need to find the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared minus 5x plus 6 all over x squared minus 4. So we re rewrite the question there. Now the idea with limits, what we're trying to do is see what happens as x approaches 2. All right. Now the reason we can't actually just put straight out x equals 2 in, let's have a look. If we were to try to put x equals 2, we wouldn't have a problem on the top, but on the bottom, if x was 2, 2 squared is 4, 4 minus 4 is 0, we'd be dividing by 0. Okay, so there's a problem there. So instead, let's just rewrite that, we need to factorize. Let's factorize the top, 2x is there, and we need factors of positive 6 that add to give minus 5. So we would need minus 2 and minus 3. On the bottom, x squared minus 4, well that's a difference of two squares. That's the old x plus 2 times x minus 2. Now the x minus 2's in this case will cancel. And as a result, it simplifies to this. At this stage then, we can substitute x is equal to 2 in. Alright, so when we put the 2 in then, for x, we get 2 minus 3 on the top, 2 plus 2 on the bottom, and that simplifies to be minus one quarter. Our second example, we need to find the limit as x approaches infinity of 5x squared minus 4x plus 7 on top dividing by 4x squared plus 8x plus 1. Now we're going to use a result, the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over x is equal to 0. So that's a very important result that we need to use in limits. Let's rewrite the question. Now what we need to do, we look at the bottom and we look at the highest term involving x. So x squared, it's the highest degree of x, so x squared. What we then do with that x squared is we divide everything by x squared. So let's just rewrite limit as x approaches infinity. All the top there, each term is going to be divided by x squared. So 5x squared on x squared. Minus 4x divided by x squared plus 7 divided by x squared. Okay, everything gets divided by x squared on the top and exactly the same thing happens on the bottom as well. So that 4x squared divided by x squared, the 8x and the 1 also. So everything is divided by x squared. Very messy I know. Let's see what can happen. Limit as x approaches infinity. Now we can simplify here. The x squareds would cancel. We'd simply have 5 there. This can simplify somewhat minus 4 on x. And the 7 on x squared can't simplify it, let's just rewrite it. That is all over. Now 4x squared on x squared, well the x squareds would cancel, would have 4 by itself. 8x over x squared would end up being 8 over x. And finally we have 1 over x squared. Now applying this limit, what it really means is that if we have a number over x, okay, if x is on the bottom and x is very large, then the actual result becomes very small, all right? If you go 1 divided by, for example, a million, that's a very small number. 1 divided by 10 million is smaller. So when x is very large on the bottom, okay, any number divided by a huge number is close to zero. So what that means is that 4 over x, okay, would approach zero, out it goes. 7 on x squared, that would also approach zero. The 8 on x approaches zero, 1 on x squared would approach 0. So what are we left with? We're just left with 5 over 4, and that is our answer, 5 over 4. Excellent.